Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of 21-22 Panini Donruss Soccer. Two box random country break number sweet 16. Hopefully this will be sweet for Matthew who picked up all the spots. So thanks and good luck. Appreciate it. Shipping team's going to be happy about this too. All cards ship. They're just going to team bag it really nicely, put all the hits together and this and that, and then they'll they'll ship it off to you. So, thank you, and good luck. It's a fun way to end the night. A little bit of soccer. Yeah, if we can find one of those, that would be a pretty nice way to end the night. I'm not sure what kind of soccer news is happening lately. Steven Bergeron's two goals in injury time yesterday for Tottenham to beat Leicester was pretty amazing. My club, Liverpool, beat Arsenal. Diogo Jota. We'll see some of his cards in here. Diogo Jota with a couple goals over Arsenal. So now Liverpool are moving on to uh, one of the two domestic cup finals in England. It's the FA Cup and, and the uh, Carabao Cup. Or the League Cup, as some people call it. Or the Milk Cup, maybe, as some people would remember it. Some older school people remember it as the Milk Cup. Carabara Cup, League Cup. So they'll be playing uh, They'll be playing Chelsea, who my colleague Nick Jaspi, he, he supports Chelsea. So we'll, we'll be meeting in the Cup Final. I think Champions League action is going to restart in about a week or so. So the next couple legs of the Champions League will be happening. So, And we got the World Cup at the end of the year. So actually, it's a low-key good year to, uh, to, collect, to start collecting soccer. Like an all-card ship here. So, you know, feel free to like grade some of these cards. If they make a name for themselves in, if they make a name for themselves in the World Cup, that'll definitely give them a boost in value. All right, Kai Havertz plays for Chelsea. It's a big name, right? Germany has a good World Cup. If Kai Havertz is the reason why, could be a good car. There's Ansu Fati for Spain. This guy's pretty good. Fifteen out of forty-nine. I mean that that could be a big name, so so it's a good year to to collect hockey, to invest in a little bit of hockey, soccer. I mean, <laughs> been watching hockey all day. You took so Matt took took Inter to win versus what M Napoli in the 80th minute, two one down at plus forty. They tied up in the 85th, scored the winner. Oh, they got the winner in 90 plus 3, but then it got way for offsides. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, that Fati was it. Is, Matthew, is there any specific player you're, you're chasing, or are you just looking for some kabooms, parallels, hits? A lot of paper here too. There's some value, a little value in the paper, but everything will ship, of course. You'll get, you'll get everything. There's uh, Josko Vardiol, 21 out of 149, the Croatian. You've got a pretty solid. Uh, National team from year to year. We should we should be expecting one autograph and one 
One autograph and one relic. So we have not seen those yet. There's a Zhao Felish to 349. So he's another youngster that could make a name for himself in the World Cup alongside the old guy, CR7. Still kind of playing like a young guy. England has a pretty good squad with the guys like Jaden Sancho, etc., etc. There's Thiago Courtois. You PC Man City, but collecting a whole lot of individual guys. Good. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna get a lot out of this, I think. Ooh, and in England, auto coming up. Shall feel the insert and the autograph is is Lee Dixon, old Lee Dixon, sixty out of ninety nine. All right, so Lee Dixon, that's a that's a name I haven't thought about in a while. Yeah, he was most of you will know him as as a pundit. Match of the Day, ITV, etc. NBC. But uh, it was with the Arsenal. He was an Arsenal guy for a long time. That's where I remember him. Back in the back in the nineties, I think. Yeah. All right, the old Lee Dixon. Jude Bellingham. He's an Another guy that can make a big impact for England. All right, there is Lionel Messi. Maybe we'll find some chrome for him. It's Phil Foden. He's another one of those England youngsters. There's your there's there's a Man City guy for you. He's pretty good. There's my guy Trent Alexander Arnold. Big fan of his. There's out of 199 press proof. Oh, that's Gundogan. Nice. Uh, I think another Man City guy, right? Gundogan. Right, yeah, any England vet auto should sell pretty pretty easily. Especially since you know it does a lot of pundit work, so I think his name is pretty familiar to a lot of people as well. There's Diago Jota. Got a blue Leo Dubois for Le Bleu. 18 out of 99. All these are for free throws and fadeaways in the chat. Matthew got all the spots. A personal break.
Jong Woo Young, Zikaku Hyun Min Sun, and we've got a David Ospina or David Ospina. Uh, Seventy one out of three forty nine for Columbia. Some more Papel. Got Mason Mount. And James Rodriguez. There's there's the kid that scored those two goals in uh in injury time yesterday. For Tottenham. And here's Nasir Chadli for Belgium. There you go. There's your relic. Let's see what we have in your second box. say I'm pretty sure that Man City is cruising in the Premier League. Yeah, they're they're they played 22 matches, 56 points. And my club Liverpool only have 45 points, although they got a they got a game in hand. That's almost, that's 10 points a... No, that's, that's um, 11 points ahead. I mean, it would have to require, I don't know, for Liverpool to try to get the title. They pretty much have. To, I mean, they gotta count on Man City losing some matches. Is that realistic? I mean, they've only got two draws and two losses this season. Who else? Are they, where else are they playing the rest of the way? Southampton. They should beat them. Fulham. No, that's FA Cup. Brentford. Norwich. They're not gonna help us. Tottenham may help, could help, I guess, if they could beat Man City. Everton could maybe help. They still have to face Man United. They still have to, Crystal Palace should be pretty easy. Brighton, Hove Albion, that's a win for them. Burnley, that's a win. Well, I mean, if they stumble at any point, there is a Man City-Liverpool match in early April. That could determine some things. But I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath for that. I think they've got a pretty pretty sizable lead at at this stage of the season. There's Morton Thorsby to 149. Yeah. 
All right, there's Marcus Rashford. Serginho Dest for the United States. Do we have a do we have a chance at going deep into the World Cup when it's here in North America? I think it's another about four years from now. We already have a lot of a lot of talented youngsters here in the United States for the men's national team. I know the women do fine. They're pretty good. They're winning all the time, but for the men, that might be the best chance because guys like him will pretty much be in their primes, I wanna say. I wanna say. Seven out of 49, that's Steven Berghuis for the orange. Got a nice orange velocity. Little color match. Christian Pulisic could stay. I mean, if you can get a little, uh, little consistency with staying healthy, that'd be great too. But I think there, are, I want to say there are a lot of guys that are in their, a lot of guys on the U.S. men's national team that are in, uh, in their early twenties, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three-ish around there. So this World Cup cycle will be, will be pretty. Uh, and, you know, I've said this before, this World Cup cycle, there's Marco Verratti. This World Cup cycle will be a great experience for, for us. And then add another four years of experience under their belts, and hopefully they keep evolving as, as footballers, as soccer players. And then next thing you know, a little home field advantage, home continent advantage. The next World Cup will be split between Canada, U.S., and Mexico, I think, I think the U.S. is getting most of those matches anyway, but so it'll pretty much be, you know, home field advantage. Then you have then you have guys like in their sort of late twenties, sort of a nice prime prime period for, you know, for uh for the U.S. And there could be some, you know, who knows? There could be some fourteen year old kid right now who in four years is going to be like, here's the next 18-year-old wonderkin, you know? And then with a little bit of luck, a little home field advantage, might be the best best shot for the U.S. men's national team. All right, there's Kit Series, Ezekiel Garay for Argentina. All of these go to Matthew, of course. I think we've seen our autograph yet. Nice uh, Diogo Jota silver. Bukayo Saka. Oops, sorry about that. Craftsman's. Out of one ninety nine, Carol Linetti. For Poland, 
We need a, we need a strong finish here. And we got Donnie Vandebeek. The beautiful game. The orange. <laughs> Jopey. It don't mean a thing until the suns get a ring. Do 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 do. Cares, Joe. Best team in the NBA. I don't think they give out trophies for best team in the NBA. It's Phil Foden, silver. Certainly not in the middle of the season. It's coming this year. I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Do, do you even have... The Lakers had to build their own room for all of their trophies. Do you even have room for a trophy? In the Suns organization? Do they even know what to do with that? I'll be like, wait, where do we put this? It'll be on some intern's desk or something like that in the front office. Bruno Fernandez to 199. I guess let's clear out the supplies closet. Maybe we'll put it there for now. There's Ansu Fati here at the end. Thank you, Matthew Wilson. I appreciate you getting all the spots here. I wish there was just some bigger hits here, but I think we had a solid two boxes. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate it, man. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.